Here we go. We are tonight's entertainment. All it takes is a little push. Nope. Uh. Okay, so far what I've got done, uh, I put up the fenders, put the front bumper on, see how it looks. It looks pretty good. And uh, let me show you. This is how she's looking the wide bumper or wide fenders it can honestly just stay the way it is because it meets up real nice on the bottom there it meets up real nice and flush but like i said the fiberglass which has this you know defects i gotta figure out a way to uh put these back on because the fender kind of gets in the way of it but i'll figure that out it's all right but the way it sits it looks nasty i'm liking it and uh, i thought i had to cut this part right here because it didn't line up but it looks like it's lining up pretty good and since this is up since this is lifted since i had the uh, hood lifters on this fender is the only spot where right here it sort of dips in a little bit but it's fine. The other one is perfectly fine as well. Look at all lines up perfectly. So I didn't have to do uh, anything with those fenders that I bought. But it's knocking up real nice. I'm gonna have to shave this a little bit so that this piece can go in. It looks like this piece got messed up and shipping because the other side it looks fine See, the other side is squared off nice so I'll probably add a little piece on that side if I can or I'll probably make something with the fender that I have cut off this piece and add it to here just to give it some effect but I'm liking it I am really liking it so what I'm going to do now is put the fenders, the side skirts on. All I'm doing, I'm putting everything on now so I can get all the holes straightened out. You know, make sure everything lines up good before I take everything back off again. Sand everything down, fix all the little deficiencies, fix that hole that's there. And then I can paint it. I plan on painting it the same color it is now, a nice satin black. And then I'll can see here on this car the clear coat is going so my plan is to uh, continue with the satin black all the way this whole part here I'll cover this whole piece satin black satin black I'll leave the top the color it is I'll leave the trunk the color so all this will be the satin black with the wide body with the side skirts that are satin black I'll leave the door the color it is have the tech stickers that I could put on the uh, side skirts whenever, whenever they're done painting and stuff. But I'm loving it. I'm liking it. So, the next clip you're gonna see is a uh, time lapse of me putting this side skirts on. When taking the fender off, I had trouble taking these off because there's the clips that hold it on. And I we're trying to practice at the junkyard taking it off without breaking it, but it's like you can't avoid breaking these things. So my plan is to either buy some new ones or drill out some holes, drill out these three holes here, right here, and just put some like dress screws on there just to make it look 
the rear bumper mounted. I'm loving it. It's looking nice. Again, has its deficiencies that I would have to fix. Right here, there's like a, maybe it's just a paint coming off or whatever. But uh, underneath the trunk, it's like, it's like where, high, where it's hidden underneath the trunk, it's like cracked, but that's easy to fix. I'll just add some uh, fiberglass to it. But I'm like, loving the style of it. see it in the video but it's looking good now I'm gonna attempt to mount the side skirts and the uh, over fenders but uh I'm gonna have to show you what I have to do to these side skirts and over fenders to get them to mount up so the side skirts they if you start from one end to the other, one end mounts up fine, then when it gets to this, it's off by maybe half an inch. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna mount it from the back forward so that the back is mounted perfectly fine and it lines up with that over fender that's right here. And on the front, I'm gonna chop off, I'm gonna chop off this piece right here to the point where more than likely like this like a like a backwards l so that way this can go like pressed against the fender and then i'll more than likely hit it up with a screw i'm gonna try to hide the screws as much as possible so i'll try to screw it from the, the from where i'm leaving some material on the inside to keep this side up whether it has to be here and if this side lifts up then i'll have to find a way to mount it here just so i can keep as much hardware off the outside as possible and um on these on these when you push the back side against the body of the car if you can see there's like a lump right here that pushes this whole piece away from the car making this whole side lift up so you can kind of see it in video where the lump starts right around here and then it comes around and then it comes up to here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the gr angle grinder and i'm gonna start cutting from here and go around and I'll leave myself some space on the edge and I'm just gonna go around like this, cut off that big lump that this has, just like that. And that'll give me the clearance to press it against the body of the car. So that way this is light enough that it feels like if I just put double-sided tape on it, it'll mount up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double side tape it and I'm gonna try my best to mount it with hardware so that it has extra protection or extra hold so it doesn't fly off on the highway the first time I drive. So I'm gonna figure that out, but first I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna cut that and then I'm gonna mock it up.
way to mount these rear over fenders and this is how it comes with the backing but these parts right here stick out too much and it's pushing the over fender away from the body so I have to cut all the way around and get rid of the centerpiece and just try to use the outer edges just like I did under hopefully that's enough you know, I cut enough because I don't want to cut too much uh, so the way I'm thinking of mounting these on the on a rear fender a little a bit over the rear well you have like a, a body line like this so on the rear well I'm gonna drill a hole right through the center here but not not on the over fender but on the fender on the car and I drill a hole and then I'm gonna mount this where I want it and then from the back of the hole I'm gonna mark it so I can have a good spot to drill and then I'm gonna use this part of the fend of the over fender to screw it into place to keep it from coming away from the body of the car so that way you don't see any hardware here and it's mounted from the back here so that will give me at least peace of mind that I know it's not going to pull away as I'm driving so I'll mount it from there and going all the way around I got inch an inch thick double sided 3M tape that I'm going to do all the way around on the lip I'm going to do the 3M one inch tape I'm going to do that bolt here and then where it mounts this is where the side skirts meet so I'm going to do some double sided tape here on this part and then some double sided tape going along this part here because this is where it meets the back bumper so that way it's nice and snug against the back bumper and the side skirts you have this bolt here holding it against the car and then this double sided tape going all the way around I could push against the car to give it another a good seal and then in the mail I have some some rubber body seal so that after everything is said and done everything's painted yada yada I'm gonna go ahead with that seal and go along the whole all the edges with that seal to uh, seal up you know water seal whatever maybe whatever little imperfections that is not completely against the body and some parts are it'll cover that up with that seal making it look nice and lush so right now what I'm gonna do is mock this up to the body of the car see where I want to put that screw I'm more than likely to put it at this in the center of this arch right here and I'm gonna see where I would have to drill that hole on the body and we'll see what's next So, got to that point where I'm going to drill a hole in the body of my car. I'm nervous as shit right now. Because this is just a one time thing. There's no coming back. So, I have to drill here. The screws I'm going to use. I'm going to use one of these right here. So, I'm going to put this part in the panel the over fender so that way it goes towards the body from the back of that fender i'm going to pull it in like this and then i'm going to be able to screw it in to the back of the uh over fender i'm dropping everything I just winged. I might. Have, I should measure. I should measure where I'm putting it so I can even it with that other side. So I'm going to put it. Uh, 
10. 10 would be the middle. So right about there. Right about there. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Jesus. Make sure that there's a opening for that. I might have to go lower. I might have to go lower. And we have a hole. It's better be worth it. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get a pencil or something and see if I can mark off the back of the overfender so I can match the holes up. Oh, after I cut the backing, this fits nice and flush against the body of the car. It's not giving me any resistance, which means after I do that double-sided tape ideal, this isn't going anywhere. find a hole. <laughs> Handy-dandy pencil. Okay. Right, see it coming out the back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate it like that, and hopefully. Hopefully we got a mark. Right there. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and drill right there. Technically, you would put it right here and then force this in. But I don't want to risk putting this in like that and then this just spinning. I don't really trust those little things, so I'm going to put it around the back just like a regular nut, which is going to end up spinning anyways. 
Oh, I mean, I could try it this way. Can you put it upside down inside? Because won't it grip these a little better? So I put it in through the back here. The hole is tight enough to keep this nice and tight. So putting it in the back, I pushed it in as much as I could and it's actually coming out kind of flush. So now I can push it against this and then just screw it in. Sure you're gonna to want to take your tire off for this. But, uh, I have a feeling this bolt is gonna be way too long and I'm gonna to have to shorten it but we'll see here in a minute. And you're definitely gonna to want to take your rim off for this. Before I, uh, before I permanently mount this, I'm gonna take silicone and shove silicone through the hole to the point where it comes out the other side because there's a gap in between the back and the body of this. So I'm gonna fill it with silicone before I push the bolt through so that way it has a water seal and there's no water going in between the panel and the, the body of the car where you can't get to. Because that starts rusting, then you're screwed. And then, after it's nice and tight, on the inside part where the wheel is, I'll go ahead and paint it with some uh, undercoating, some rubberized undercoating to give it some water protection on the bolt. Okay. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to, I'm gonna have to definitely cut these down because it's tight against. So I'm gonna have to cut it, if you can see. You can see it's touching the inside part of the over fender. So I'm gonna have to cut this bolt a good amount. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna remove this again and then I'm gonna cut the bolt and then I'll go ahead and put double side tape on the back side just for mounting purposes and then um, that's what I'll pick up with the video. sticking to the body of the car as I was trying to screw the screw in right here. But we finally got it on. The one sided tape is in. Some spots it doesn't make contact with the body. Like right here. But um 
the seal I bought, I'm gonna have to remove this damn thing again because the seal I bought sealed um, tapes underneath this lip and it creates a water quality. But I'll tell you what, for now, this is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same process for the other side and then we'll look at it when it's all done. Go. Wide body kit is completely mocked up. Next step is going to be sanding her down, fixing all the little deficiencies it has, painting it, and then reinstalling it for its final time. With that going to be after we paint the, this portion of the body as well but this is it for now